I'm just gonna shoot this quick video on recovering gas out of a unit that's going to be decommissioned that has a running compressor. So I've got this unit set to run, got my core remover tools and hoses on there because I like to recover fast, but that's kind of optional, right? I've already got this purged out to the cylinder. But when you have a working unit and you're decommissioning it, you don't care about it anymore, you can use the compressor that's already running. And you can see I'm pushing gas through here. Now, as you see your pressure in your tank and your input start to equalize, if you have a recovery machine that can be throttled, Actually, I had that backwards with the pressure. I wouldn't have been moving much gas, but we got that nice subcooled liquid pushing into the machine through the input. This is R22 to the output on the tank side. As you can hear, it's not having a hard time with it, the recovery machine. What you want to do at first though, is you want to let a decent amount of gas just flow through before you start up your recovery machine. That way you're not killing your compressor. Now I also have my uh, case on top of the unit, raising head pressure, that helps, you know, create a pressure differential to get gas out. In this case, we block the condenser a little bit if it's convenient. And optional, but not necessary step two, is you can take a pinch off tool and crank it down on the liquid line. I'm only pulling through the high side right now, very important. I do not have the low side open to my machine. So I could crank this down on there, but looks like our head pressure of this unit's at like 100 right now anyway. The left is our inlet pressure of our recovery machine, the right is the tank. So that's head pressure right now, of course, with this compressor running too. So now we can go ahead and shut it down. I have my suction open now too, so you can see how little gas was in that unit, how fast that all came out. Now I didn't weigh it in this case. You should always weigh it, you know, not the greatest example. But especially on 410A, this will really help. And as we get further along, we're gonna be decommissioning 410A more and more. And there's gonna be less and less R22 units. So this will keep your tank pressure much lower, especially with 410A. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it and got something out of it, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up button to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notifications bell to be notified when new videos come out. HVAC School is far more than a YouTube channel. You can find out more by going to HVACRschool.com, which is our website and hub for all of our content, including tech tips, videos, podcasts, and so much more. You can also subscribe to the podcast on any podcast app of your choosing. You can also join our Facebook group if you want to weigh in on the conversation yourself. Thanks again for watching.